Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. You know, I've been so enjoying the beautiful fall colors. Haven't you? This year it's been so glorious. No, I haven't seen it. Well, <laughs> I just can't. Guess what? Of course, going, I love you're it. You're going to see it today. I okay, love it. But they are going away. The, the rain and stuff is, is taking away. I told you. I, there's like one tree with barely any leaves. All the leaves are down now. I know. That's why I collected some of these ahead of time. But I did this project last week. Let's take a look right here. This is just, I'm going to get over here on this side so I can explain. This is just a, uh, just a wooden board here. These are all natural leaves. Everything on this is natural. Uh, this I wanted to put this as on from the Japanese maple, such rich color. I've got a little bit of dogwood on there. I wanted to put a little bit of green in there. I've got my firebush, and these branches are firebush also in the in the berries. So this is really a fun project. It's got a little depth to it, Jeremy. Can you see that it's um, got some crinkles in it, so a little bit of dimension. It's textured. Yes. It's very textured. And then I finished it off with um, some Mod Podge. So I'm going to give this to Beth Vanello because she liked it so much and said she would put it on her wall. And I appreciate that. I'm happy to give that to her. That's going to be uh, the new home. But Jeremy, you've got one I want you to work on. Yes. You, I was thinking, would be fun with that too. What? Since you're Mod Podging everything, what if you took a picture of you and your significant other? And put it right on the front, and the leaves of the frame. That's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like that. the fall yeah. around you, and then it's you and your. That is a great idea. I don't, I don't know. I think that'd be a good picture and frame. And very personalized, and would go on your wall too. I love it. I think that'd be fun. Like I personalize it for you. You could for put your dogs person. on it. You could. Because I know you'd rather put your dogs on it than Dave. I'm just saying. <laughs> Did you hear that? Dave? I'm just okay. kidding, Dave. Right, I'm just so kidding. Let's okay. talk about this one. Um, okay, I don't what know do you if we've got do? a shot um, of this one or if I need to. Okay, there we go. Now, it is turned upside down. This is all natural leaves, Jeremy. I went ahead and did a little bit to this because you'll see the back is just wood. Wood, okay. okay. So I put a little bit of paint on there. This is just a brown leaf, fire leaves, uh, Japanese maple, and I don't know what this leaf is, but I want you to decorate as you want. So go ahead and start. You wanted me to use Elmer's glue plus Mod Podge. Yes, now here, this is what I learned. Um, the leaves, I was just started with the Mod Podge and it doesn't stick. It's not a heavy enough glue. So uh, just choose whatever you want. Let me just say these leaves are real, but they have been, uh, you know, worked over. So they're, the color is not going to change on those. You can buy these in the store. Usually they come all crinkled up like this and that is why I put them in a book and press them first so you would be able to work with them easier, gotcha. right? Okay, so you're going to choose one of those. Uh, again, you've got some fire leaves over here. You've got some branches. Um, and yeah, good job. That's great. And, um, and then you've got some of the yellow ones as well. There we go. This could be a fun project for the kids, too, to, to make them go out and find the leaves and that sort of thing. At this point, it might have to be next year, but they are still on the ground. I had to pick some up from the ground last, last night. But, um, yeah, and then you do this. See, and I like the idea of, like, them crinkling. It adds more texture if I, you do crinkle. I like the te texture, too, but I will tell you, on some of these, on some of the leaves, there were enough bubbles that I had to cut with a, a pair of scissors. Oh, yeah. And kind of mm -hmm. make it like wallpaper so that it didn't bubble too much. I love wallpaper. I love wall I know you do, and mm -hmm. I do, too. Um, but I do, unlike you, I like the texture as well. Um, but then I placed a board on top of it to flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, that's see, a good idea. But you'll see there is still a little bit of texture, especially with these really uh, delicate uh, bush leaves, uh, the um, oh, Japanese maple. Yellow now. Oh, All right. yellow. And I don't know what this one is. I just thought that looked a little different than anything else. So I and what's hard to see on the TV, too, is this Mod Podge will dry clear. Oh, and yeah. right now it's just looking a lot of like a white well, gunk. Well, and, and it might... Um, you can speed it up if you want to use a hair dryer, but you don't have to. You can just let it dry overnight. And then, uh, again, what you might do is in stages, after you do this, you might press another piece of wood or a book over it, mm -hmm. a book that you're not going to want to keep because it'll get sticky on the other side. But um, So it's a, it's a little bit of a process. But And then this, this um, that you've got on the other side. Yes. I added this to my frame, too. It's like um, it's just kind of got a little bit of orange, uh, I don't know, a little bit of sheen to it. Um, Could you, what is that spray? You love to use it. I've never, I don't really use it that often, but you love it. And it's that spray that has like a... It looks like a wood coloring. Like a brown. Yes, yeah, yes. what is that called? Okay, well... Um, could, I, could you use that on this? You totally could. I, o I only find that one place here in town, and I guess I can say, but um, I don't know. Or maybe they'll sell it and they'll never or, buy it again. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I but, can't find but, it. But anyway, it's a, it's a wood, it's like a cherry wood spray, and I spray it on everything when I have it. Like, um, if you want to do a natural project using pine cones or whatever, I would spray it on there. It gives it a little richness. It gives it a little sheen. Um, you could totally use that on here. 
Because um, I was thinking those different kinds of like even metallic spray paints or metallic oh, yeah, kind absolutely. of There's paints would be good because it would have that like that sparkle you, when you walk you, by it. You could even use glitter on it. You could do whatever oh, you want glitter. to do. Oh, yeah. glitter! I mean, if you Give did, me some of those sprigs. If you yeah. did it some, for, the, for the holidays. Now, these sprigs, I will tell you, once you, they're a very textured look. So when you put those on, uh, you'll want to glue those down. Oh, um, right. And then when you do that, you'll probably definitely want to put some... <laughs> There we go. It's not going anywhere. I don't want it to move, Kelly. Okay, that's all good. That'll all work out in the wash. Yeah, it'll, it'll be and, fine. Uh, so, yeah, that's a lot it'll of fun. It'll clear. But, yeah, you could even stain the board, Jeremy. <gasps> no, I do like the idea of, like, a, a really pretty wood stained. Yeah. And then putting the leaves on top of it. And you know what? what? You Originally, that's what I was going to do with this board. But there is a little bit of stain on it, but it's a really light stain. And then I went ahead and put some, uh, just some regular Oh, okay. Color. Did you have to cut this board to size? Yes. And it was just a regular piece of wood you had it's around your house? It was just a long piece of wood, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to buy it separately. You had... No, now this one I bought, um, but I bought it at a flea market. So you know what it was? What? It was a cutting board. <gasps> so if you've got an old cutting board that you just think, you know, or the edges I are I like that up, idea better. Yeah, or the edges I are messed it. up. I love it. But I needed to have something to show the folks. Right. Oh, oh gosh, sorry. I'm sorry, Kelly. I got Mod Podge yeah. all over you. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But don't you love these fire, fire bush leaves? I don't know. This yeah, I put project. one here, but I like the vibrance, especially yeah. once you put this on yeah. top of it. It really brings mm -hmm. out the color. I agree. Um, so this is just a fun little project. It does take a day or two to get it right. It's a little bit like an arrangement. You got to look at it and decide what you want to do differently. Yeah, you need to step back and kind of like step back. But I look. really am happy with how mine came out. And um, are you sad to give it away now? No, because I love Beth, and she liked it so much, being a weather person and all the beautiful colors on it. So I'm happy to give it to her. Okay then. Yeah, and 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 we'll show you Jeremy's. Uh, tomorrow, and maybe um, maybe uh, you'll find a home for yours too. It'll be hopefully it'll be dry by tomorrow. Oh, it will be I'm, dry. I'm adding a lot of glue to this, yeah, guys. It's not going anywhere. It anyway, is not it's a going fun anywhere. Project for you guys to do at home if you like to try it. Take your there leaves you and just it's hard. I just want to. I'm just going to keep gluing. Okay. It's Kelly. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't okay. going nowhere. All right. Do there not you go. make me stop painting. See, he's busy. I was like, I'm what? having fun. Okay. Well, okay. Coming up, uh, I have a rave review. I may be. Uh, Mod podging in my rave review. It'll be a, a double need, whammy. You may need something to get that off your Off hands, my fingers, really. I know. We'll yeah. be back right after this. Why not do a craft do rave it, review? Do it right. Where you do it both I two like in one. It.